Hello, welcome to the first video on my YouTube channel. Welcome to Weeping Willow Wellness. If you've been to my in-person classes or if you're a student of mine, thank you so much for joining me here. It's good to see you again. If you're just joining me for the first time, thank you. It's wonderful to meet you virtually in this space. Today's class, I'm going to try to keep it to just under 30 minutes. The goal for this channel is to create classes for people of all abilities. When I started yoga, I had the same aspirations that many people do of uh, back bends and splits and all kinds of poses. And over the last few years, I've really had to accept my health journey for what it is. So this channel, while I may have some tutorials for certain things, for more able bodies, most of this content is going to be for spoonies. I first came across the term spoonie about a year and a half ago, and slowly I have grown to adopt it as a term I use for myself. I really like the idea that I can form a relationship with my body where I know what I have available to me each day. And I hope that through these practices, you are able to deepen the relationship with your body and to find all kinds of things that are available to you to help enjoy being in your body. Because at the end of the day, that's what being alive on Turtle Rock <laughs> is all about. We all have these bodies we get to live in, that we have to live in. So wherever you're at today, just join me if you choose in closing your eyes and receiving a breath. Everything we do together is choiceful. So please be mindful of where your body is at and do what you want to. This is a space where you get to do whatever you want. If you're enjoying breathing with me, then continue to relax that belly into a nice, relaxed Buddha breath. Natural breath. With each inhale, imagine the spine getting a little bit longer. And with each exhale, notice what you can let go of. Is there a little tension in the hands, the jaw, the hips? What can we let go of today that's not serving us? So often with chronic illness, chronic inflammation, spoony life, our bodies can settle into protective patterns with inflammation, pain, trying to prevent us from getting hurt worse or again. But sometimes we just need to show up for our bodies, show up with our bodies and say, hey, I've got this. I'm listening. And I know what I can do today. I know what I want. And I know why I want it. I know some things I want are based on external views and showing off. And I know some things I want deep down because I know I'm ready for them. So getting in touch with that inner voice. What is it saying that you're ready for today in your practice? Maybe take a gentle sway with me if that feels good. Maybe imagine your spine as a piece of seaweed. And you're just swaying in the ocean. Okay. 
Maybe take some big circles. Just listen to whatever your body wants. Circles. Maybe the arms want to come up. Get it on the sway. And then go ahead and spin. take one last big inhale, reaching the arms up if they're not already getting involved. And exhale down through the right center. Let's get quiet for one more minute. Maybe you want to take one hand to the heart and one hand to the stomach. Or if there's something else you like to do when you set intention for your practice, go ahead and do it. Breathe into whatever's coming up for you today. For me, it's the concept of service. How can I get outside myself? You know, of course, we're doing the whole practice to tap into our inner voice and listen to ourselves. But, but what else can I do throughout the rest of my day that maybe I can spark during this practice that helps me to think of others? Helps me to think of my life in a service mindset. What little tiny sacrifices can I make that don't jeopardize my health, mentally, physically, well-being, but that do show others that I care and then in turn help me to develop patience. Seeing others as human beings who all go through their own struggles just like I do. If that's resonating for you at all, go ahead and breathe into that. And if there's something else completely different coming up for you today, just breathe into whatever it is for you. And before we really get started, I'm going to take a quick break and just show you what I have to play with today. You do not need to have these things. You can always make modifications. But I'm going to have two acupressure balls. I'm going to have a block just in case I need it. You can have a couple if you have them. Um, if you don't have a block, you can use a thick book or a couple of books. And if you don't have acupressure balls, you can use tennis balls, lacrosse balls. Bear in mind that different balls have different amounts of pressure and tension. So again, listen to your body if those things feel good. I have a pashmina that I really like. You can have any scrap of fabric, but I, I'm choosing a pashmina. And I have a bigger blanket um, to use as a bolster and as a blankie. So the rest of this class is all about comfort and self-care. So if you want, you can take a moment to go collect those things or just continue without them for today. So go ahead and take one more nice deep breath, lifting the arms up overhead. We're going to exhale, reach them forward. Take a couple of breaths here in this forward fold. And then inhale, reach them up. Switch the fold of the legs if they're folded or shift your legs around if you're in a different seated position. And exhale forward again. Go ahead and inhale the arms up again. And this time we're going to drop the right hand down and reach the left hand over, opening up the side body. Just settling in here to this nice gentle movement. And then go ahead and exhale, sweep it forward and come back up. Inhale, both arms up again. And gently drop the left hand down this time. And reach the right arm over. Opening up the right side body. Inhale into that rib cage. And the next exhale, go ahead and sweep it forward. And if you have a scrap of fabric that you want to play with, grab it. If you have a passion, grab it. 
We're going to do a little bit of free flowing movement here. This part is all about you tapping into your sense of play today. So maybe play for you is just wrapping this up and, and just relaxing into the fabric. Breathing into the sensation, noticing soft sensation on your face. Maybe for you, it's more you just want to make little waves and just play. This is all about sensory exploration, feeling texture on your skin, letting your body tap into what feels good. And at any time today, you can just go ahead and lay right down on your blankie, right here. Or lay down on your mat and wrap up in the blankie. <laughs> this is all about comfort and pleasure. So finding your pleasure now. What I said earlier about service, you can only serve when we feel ready. When we are taking care of ourselves first, we will have so much more to offer those around us. I'm going to play with just gently pulling this fabric over my face, feeling what it feels like, tickling my head, pulling my hair gently. Let this exploration be whatever it wants to be right now. And if this part is not working for you at all, you can mute me or skip forward. Whatever feels good for you. I'm gonna get a little more playful with it here. This does not have to look like dance, but if it feels dancey, that can be fun. I'm going to start with a little bit of unwinding of the joints. So I'm rolling through my ankles here first, feeling what feels good. Rolling my ankles around. A lot of inflammation starts in the joints. And having this fabric here just makes it a little bit more playful. Maybe just exploring what it feels like to roll my joints well, also distracting my body with the feeling of this fabric on my face and on my skin. What is that all about? You know? And I'm going to kind of move the movement up into my knees. to my hips, get some hip rotation going. It can be circular, it can be side to side. Maybe you're still laying on the ground, just relaxing, cuddling yourself. But if you're feeling like it's good to get this movement in your body, I encourage you to make it a little bit bigger. Start to make it bigger. See what movement you have in your spine. What range of movement is available to you today. Be gentle with yourself. Or maybe you want to start to sway. Towards the ground. Letting your arms and head be heavy. Maybe settling into a more traditional forward fold here. Maybe bend, straighten the legs. Just letting go of some tension in the hamstrings. Let releasing all the way up into the low back now. Maybe give yourself a gentle pang on the low back. 
And you want to bring that scarf back up and run it across your low back. See what that sensation feels like to activate those outer nerve endings on the skin as we stretch. Sensory experience here in self-care. When you're ready, soften the spine, tuck the chin, and gently roll up. I'm going to go ahead and inhale my arms up. And exhale, swan dive forward. I'm going to come down to my elbows, bending my knees deeply together. Taking my weight into my elbows, I'm going to walk my hands back and do a little dolphin pose here. I'm going to pedal out my feet. And I'm just going to gently drop my knees, come into tabletop. Now I have a really gentle relationship with my wrists right now, especially my left wrist. I am putting a little bit of weight on them. If that's not available to you, maybe you want to put some weight on your elbows, or maybe you just want to stay up on the fingertips, or maybe no weight at all, and just maybe sway the hips back and forth, find a different movement that works for you. But I am able to put a little bit of weight on my hands. And I'm kind of leaning slightly farther back into my hips than I normally would for a traditional tabletop. And I'm just gently spreading my fingertips to see what that feels like. To get some mobility into my hands. And then I'm going to take a nice thread the needle. I'm starting with my left side, inhaling my left arm up. And exhale, threading it through under the right. Nice spinal twist. And I'm going to grab my little Pashlina here, place it under my head, just to make this experience even softer and sweeter. more breaths here as I rest in this position. I'm ready. I'm going to gently unwind. I'm going to take some nice big hip circles here. Again, you can do this with some weight on your hands or if that's not available to you, you can do some hip circles without the hands on the ground. Switch to the other side now, inhaling the right arm up, and exhaling, ready it through under the left. We grab my little passionate bag again. Drawing like a big circle with my chest, if that makes sense. Mm. I'm going to 
take a little bit of a deeper stretch with my wrists and hands here. Just placing the fingertips in one at a time. You do not have to do this. It doesn't feel good. Or you can just lean back on your feet and do some gentle hand extensions here. If putting weight on them doesn't feel good or if the gravity is a little bit too much, give your wrists a little self-massage maybe. I'm going to place my fingertips backward. I'm going to place a tiny bit of pressure on the backs of my hands here. Really gently. Here, I'm going to sit back and then press my hips up and forward for camel. Camel does not need to be a full back bend, simply pressing my hips forward a little bit as you open up the heart space can be enough. If you have more range of motion here, feel free to deepen the pose, reaching one hand or both hands back towards your heels. For me though today, this is plenty. And do a little, a little bit of wagging side to side here as I'm pressing. I'm going to take some nice big arm circles here. Before I sit back gently and bring my feet forward, I'm going to grab that pashmina or scrap of fabric again. I'm going to let it help me to reach for my toes. So what I want to do here is really keep my back straight so it's like a flat back as I'm reaching forward, as I'm pulling this to help my toes flex. And this is a little softer than a traditional yoga strap. Hey, this is Sancho. And this one goes out to all the hip hop fans out there. If you like what you're hearing right now, it's called Double Take. And you can download this and a lot more by upgrading to Upbeat Premium. Peace. My royalty free music has ads. <laughs> I'm sure that starting this channel will be a little bit of a learning curve. But I appreciate you being here for my very first one. Again, as I was saying, for me, I find the pashmina is just a little bit softer than a traditional yoga strap. It has a little bit more flexibility um, and it's softer on my feet. You know, if I'm having a particularly tingly day or sensitive day, just find it more gentle. Now you can begin to reach for your be with your hands if you'd like to, if that's available to you. But I do find that having this puts a little less pressure on my shoulders and my spine, and I'm still getting a nice hamstring release, calf release. You can begin to do some little toe pointing if you'd like. This helps me with my posture to sit up nice and straight while I'm doing this. A lot of times we just kind of flop forward and then you're getting a huge slouch in your thoracic spine, which is not going to feel good later. When you feel you've had enough of that, you go ahead and just take the feet in butterfly for one moment and just rock side to side a little bit. And then when you're ready, we'll go ahead and lay down. You have your bolster here to lay on, or you can lay right on the mat. I'm going to grab my yoga balls. These can be used anywhere that you feel a little acupressure is needed to loosen things up. But today, I'm going to focus on my TMJ. So I'm actually going to get my block 
so that I can lie on my side and have the ball right on my jaw. I'm just going to roll around on my jaw a little bit here. Oh, that's really good actually. You can roll around right on the jaw or just above it, sort of right below the line of the cheekbone. Feels really good. Or if you want, right in the temple feels really good too. Especially if you have tension headaches or anything. It can be really helpful. Just taking a few moments, a few breaths here to release some tension in the face. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and switch sides. I'm going to switch sides here so I can still see you. Now I could do a whole, probably easily 90 minute routine just with these balls, just hitting every little pressure point. My goal for my first class here today is just to you do some fun of different self-healing practices all at once. Opening and closing the jaw here too while you're rolling. You see very gently. Slowly so you can see if there's any sharp pain. I find that to be really helpful. If you don't have a ball or blocks, again, you can use books and your own fist. I forgot to say this earlier, I should have said it earlier, but you can have a couple of books and then your own fist and just put pressure kind of rolling around on that knuckle bone. If you just make a fist, turn it, and then lay your cheek, your jaw right, right there, you can kind of use your own bones to give yourself that acupressure. That does put some pressure on the hands, so if you have any arthritis in the hands or anything, getting a ball is a little bit better. I want you to really start somewhere. You don't have to have tools to create healing and pleasure. So I'm going to go ahead and flip myself back around. My head is closer to me. And I'm going to place this block right under my head. And then Put the balls right on the occipital ridge. You can find your occipital ridge right at the base of your skull. Feel where the squish of your neck first hits a bone of your, of your skull, and that's the occipital ridge. So I'm going to place these balls right here. And if you have a little bag to put them in, that can be helpful, or a sock that you tie off so that they're not rolling out. Um, but I'm just going to hold them with my hands here. And then I'm just going to lean my head back a little bit until I feel a nice amount of pressure. And I'm just going to rest here for a moment. Give myself a little occipital release. I'm keeping my knees bent because I like my low back to be on the floor, but 
You can release the feet if that feels good to you. I also find it so helpful to release sound. Ah. Bringing the balls a little bit lower and sort of rocking my head side to side to get a little bit more of a release in the neck. If that feels good, you can do that. You can also take the block out from under the neck if, if that's feeling like it's putting your head up too high. Really just modify this however you want. And maybe take one more moment with that if it's feeling good or you can come back to it later. I'm going to start winding down here for Shavasana. So again, I'm going to use my bolster for my head and sort of create a little extra roll of it to stuff under my neck so that my neck is supported. But you can also just wrap up in it. I'm going to use my pashmina to sort of cover myself. Turn it into a little eye blanket. Then I'm going to take a little happy baby here. Just releasing my groin a little bit. Rocking side to side. But you can take any last poses that feel good. Maybe you want to extend the happy baby out, do some ankle rolls. Or maybe you just want to hug the knees together and drop them from one side to the next for another twist. Whatever is feeling good to you, or you can just head right into Shavasana. When you're ready, letting your body take up space, letting your feet hang. Your arms spread out. And if it feels good, let your palms face upward. I want you to imagine that two faucets have been opened up. One right over each of your hands. And they've been opened up and there's just a flood of gold and pure energy pouring into your hands. It's healing energy, it's warming and calming. And you are overflowing. This energy is available to you at all times. It's bounty and blessings, it's patience, and love. And your hands are so full now that this energy is traveling up your arms, over your shoulders, huddling around your neck, and the little divots of your body flooding down your chest to your stomach. Everywhere this energy moves, it heals, soothes, and sustains you, calming every craving, healing every wound, filling you with love, so much love that you need and deserve. Love is your human birthright. You deserve to receive it and to give it. It's moving down now over your legs, around your 
around your knees, swirling around your ankles and your feet. And it's speeding up now a little bit, moving around your body, cuddling around the floor, around you, always moving, and filling you with that energy of movement. Our bodies are always moving, even when we're still, when we're at rest. And so is our capacity for love and healing. We are always changing. We can embrace that possibility. Now you are completely surrounded and enveloped in healing, loving energy. Bask in that for a moment. When you're ready, wrap yourself up in a nice big hug. When we start with loving ourselves, we truly have unlimited love to share. And I'm going to end the video now so you can bask in this as long as you'd like. The light in me bows to the light in you. Namaste.